Welcome back to the NBA All-Star Game from Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. The world's largest dome stadium. 105,000 were on hand for the Cowboys opener against the Giants. Close to that many expected here tonight. Built at a cost of 1.15 billion dollars. It's the All-Star Game this year, the Super Bowl next year, and the Final Four in 2014. And for more on Cowboys Stadium, let's go to David Aldridge. Craig, I live in Washington, D.C. I'm a bit of a Redskins fan, but even I'm impressed by the jumbo, big Jerry vision that we have here at Cowboys Stadium. It is more than 11,500 feet. It's the largest HD television set in the world. Jerry, and uh, Jerry Jones and Mark Cuban who brought this game here are hoping for 100,000 people. There will be at least more than 90,000 fans here tonight. Seating capacity is 80,000. They're going to go for the six figures if they can, Marv. All right, guys. This is a city also that has dug itself out of a record snowfall. It was the great snowfall of 2010. Chris Bosch of the Raptors and a local Dallas product who just checked in coming up with a bucket. They measured a record-breaking 12 and a half inches of snow, which uh, did affect things on Thursday and Friday, but they got past it. And uh, as you look around this stadium, you can see the crowd has turned out. It'll be interesting to see what uh, the final count is. They, as David said, they're hoping for 100,000. Rajon Rondo of the Boston Celtics, who just came on, called for the foul. Paul Gasol of the Los Angeles Lakers about to uh, check in. Paul Pierce of the Boston Celtics has come on, fresh off the win last night in the three-point shootout. You know, Mark, one of the things about this game that I like early is the fact that they're not throwing the ball, trying to make spectacular plays and turning the ball over. One turnover for the East and uh, seven assists, seven assists for the West and only two turnovers. A lot of times we see try this spectacular play being made and the ball thrown around. The guys are doing a good job taking care of the ball and playing good ball. So Rondo at the point. Mentioned earlier, the Celtics have been struggling as of late. They have been an injury hit team, and we've had an unusual number of early fouls called. The All-Star game not noted for uh, free throw attempts or fouls being handed out. That's on Gasol, and here's LeBron James to the line as we remind you that national coverage of the NBA continues Tuesday on NBA TV. It's the Suns and the Grizzlies starting at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Wednesday on ESPN, the Suns of the Mavericks starting at 8 o'clock Eastern time. And we mentioned earlier Thursday on TNT, it's an action-packed doubleheader. The Denver Nuggets playing the Cleveland Cavaliers in Cleveland. Cleveland will be going for its 14th straight win. Denver, second-best record in the West behind the Lakers, and the Lakers are home for the Celtics. I expect Kobe Bryant to be back playing in that game. Obviously not playing tonight in the All-Star game because of the ankle injury as Chauncey Billups turns the ball over. Chauncey Billups of the Nuggets, also a late ad, checking in for the first time. Pierce off Gasol with the rebound. Also keep in mind, Thursday is the NBA trade deadline. Billups knocks it down from downtown. Well, that was the guy I picked last night to win the three-point shootout. Paul Pierce probably was the low man to win that as he Curls in with the lay -in. First Celtic to win the three-point shootout since Larry Legend. Here's Billups again for three. James accelerates. James comes up short. Nowitzki with the outlet for Darren Williams, who just came on. It looks like Williams lost his balance step out of bounds. You know, Marv, I just did a Denver Nugget game the other night, and I was talking to George Carl, and I said, you know, it seems to me like Chauncey Billups loves that third quarter, really likes to come out and, and, and get off shooting his three-point shots, and he said he shoots them better when he's fresh, and it makes sense. He came right off the bench, and you, he took two threes, knocked one in, so he said normally when his legs are fresh is when he looks to shoot the threes. That's why you see it a lot in the third quarter coming out of the halftime. George uh, told us no question he's going to give his man Chauncey. <laughs> the playing time here this evening. Well, that's a smart move, and, and he also said he would like to see Carmelo be a little bit more serious in this game. He said, I'd like to see him think about, you know, being the MVP. He said, I think that's what Wade does, and, and LeBron, Kobe, these guys. He said, I'd like to see Carmelo be a little more serious today. Al Gasol missed the open shot. Let's check it with Craig Sager. Craig. 
Well, I talked to George Carl, and he said that Tim Duncan was the only one who said he didn't I want to play a lot of minutes. I talked to Tim Duncan. He said, no, but I want to be in there when the four point guards are there. So I talked to George Carl. was a great point guard in his time. He says he is going to play the four point guards at one time with Tim Duncan. Uh, All right, we'll be looking for that later on as James comes up. Oh, 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 down by goodness. Chris Bosch on the short <laughs> shot by LeBron James. Boy, he's having a great year, a great year. What's impressed me is his rebounding. Carmelo Anthony taking it uh, with power and then able to hit on the follow. So Carmelo has come out strong. He has 10 points. Here's the alley oop for Howard. Rondo to Howard. And the steal there by LeBron James to Rondo for the lay in. 29 25, the East with the lead. Anthony, he just turned and walked up court after releasing the shot. That's a Reggie Miller move. He's pretty serious here. 13 points already here to start this game. So he is uh, definitely thinking about maybe that MVP award. And a timeout has been taken. Just under three left in this opening quarter. LeBron James just uh, everywhere on the court. He finds Rondo, who leads the league in steals, so he just sort of reciprocates there. It is the East 29, the West 28. Let's take a look at the T-Mobile sky view. Well, who says you can't go home? Chris Bosch off the bench here for the East. LeBron James takes a force three right here, but rebounding position is key here. And above the rim view with a nice little flush. Two of two, four points for Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch grew up here in Dallas, a standout at Lincoln High School. He led them to a state title and a record of 40 and 0. That was eight years back. Zach Randolph of the Memphis Grizzlies has come on for the red hot. Carmelo Anthony who sits down with 13 points. And Kevin Durant of the Oklahoma City Thunder. We discussed him uh, right at the start of the telecast. Uh, he has been on fire. And uh, there he is with the ball, guarded by the Charlotte Bobcats, Gerald Wallace. Phillips, rebounded by Bosch. I don't know if there's a better scorer right now in the game than Kevin Durant. Randolph called for the uh, foul, tying up Howard. Well, Kevin Durant, a shade behind LeBron James in the scoring race, averaging 29.7 per game how about his jersey being retired at Texas after just one year of college ball as you as Rondo knocks down a 18 footer how much he meant to that program this is a guy that could post up obviously he can stretch the floor with his three-point shooting as we're witnessing right there and better rebounder than people give him credit for uh, Rondo try to get it to Bosch on the hop and it's last touched by the West. East maintains possession. Just under two minutes left in this first quarter. Well, you know, Craig Sager came over here during the timeout and he said Kevin Durant said he was so nervous he could not wait to get in the game. He said his legs, <laughs> legs were almost shaky kind of thing. So I'm sure he's taking a deep breath now and starting to get a feel for this game. But that's what I talk about. Nine first-year All-Stars and what they must be feeling. Bosch able to slip it inside and Howard is fouled by Gasol. Well, I'm nervous being over here Western next to you guys with 100,000. My, legs, my, legs, were shaking. my legs were shaking until I looked up and saw Jerry Vision, and I'm okay now. <laughs> but you have to get your eyes off. That's unbelievable. Diamond Vision, I know you're fascinated. Jerry Vision is unbelievable. I think you could just buy one for the, uh, the home entertainment center. <laughs> like play some video games on that bad boy. All right, be there live for all the action. Go to NBA.com slash tickets. You can do it now to reserve your seats to see your favorite NBA team, the NBA where memories happen.